Hi everybody, welcome inside the gym at Hightower High School where we've got girls basketball starting at 5 o'clock this evening on VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. It's the host Hurricane Girls going to be taking on the Willow Ridge Eagles, two old rivals of Fort Bend ISD. Roger Smith with you and this is the first of a double header tonight. We're going to have the boys game between Hightower and Willow Ridge which is just a few hundred feet from here over at Hobson Field House. So we'll step aside real quickly after we tell you who's making this broadcast possible. Our coverage is brought to you tonight by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tire and Automotive with four great Fort Bend County locations, including Katie Cinco Ranch on Eldridge Road in Sugarland, First Colony near the mall and near Mercer Stadium. And also on top of that, we also have the location at Greatwood. Did I already say Greatwood? I can't remember. Anyway, Great Way, uh, Greatwood, Katie Cinco Ranch, First Colony, and on Eldridge Road in Sugarland. We're also brought to you by Archer Volkswagen. Open since 1956 and ready to serve you Monday through Saturday. They're on the southbound side of the Southwest Freeway, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. You will feel like family at Archer Volkswagen. And we're also brought to you by the Needville Insurance Agency. I'll bet you've complained about your, co your home and your car insurance. It costs too much. Well, Needville Insurance Agency can bring that down. Bradley Stavano and his team shop all these carriers, and they're going to make sure no matter what your situation, you will pay less for your car and your home insurance. So call Bradley or go to needvilleinsurance.com. We'll step aside and get this game going. The High Tower Hurricane Girls taking on the Willow Ridge Eagles. I'm Roger Smith. Glad you're with us. We'll be right back. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free Internet and laptops. And now we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi enabled safe spaces to study. So more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at Comcast.com education. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavano with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. First Tire and Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. <music> 
Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. We want to thank the Office Depot in Sugarland, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace, for what they do, taking care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. We'll be back to tip off the girls' game between Willow Ridge and Hightower right after this on VipeFortBend.com. Hey, high schoolers. Are you interested in a career in sports media? Vipe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today. All right, here we are, ready for a 5 o'clock start. The girls of Hightower against the girls of Willow Ridge and the Hightower girls hell-bent on making the playoffs this year out of District 24-5A. I think they have a very good chance to do that. And we'll see if this game between Willow Ridge and Hightower is a close competitive game between two rivals or if Hightower is able to jump out to a quick lead and take care of business quickly. Jumping center for the Willow Ridge Eagles is Natalie Green and Madison Bob of Hightower will go up with her. The ball is in the air and the tap controlled by Hightower quickly down the floor. Aaliyah Franklin drives toward the baseline, turns around, gives the ball back to her teammate Jaya Johnson and now Franklin gets it back. Right corner three is no good. Fight for the rebound and a player on the floor. It's Hightower, they control the board. And down on the floor was Nia Reed and she kept the possession alive. So we're in the first minute here. Over on the left wing, three on the way. Jada Grigsby in and out, no good. And the rebound by Ariana Seals, the freshman for Willow Ridge. She's not very big, but she plays big. Brings the ball across the timeline. Sets up near the top of the key. Passes off over on the left to Haley Kinchin. Another freshman and a whistle. A double dribble by Willow Ridge. A turnover. Gives Hightower the ball back in this scoreless game. It's a double header for us here on VipeFortBend.com. We're going to bring you the boys game between these two schools at 7 o'clock. Entry pass by Aaliyah Franklin. Shot up no good. Got it in there to Jaya Johnson, but her shot was short. And Willow Ridge gobbles up the rebound. And here come the Eagles wearing the royal blue uniforms with the gray and white numerals and lettering. Script across the front. Seals has it. Hands the ball off to Mariana Lockett. She's a junior. I guess she's the old lady of the team. Now it is Haley Kinchin with it. The freshman gets it over there along the baseline to Mariana Lockett. And she went underneath the backboard, put up a layup that missed everything. And here comes Hightower with Jada Grigsby. Drives in, can't find the shot that she wants. But now it's Jaya Johnson. Launches a three off the heel of the rim. No good. But a rebound to Hightower. And there goes Franklin. Kicks it back out to Johnson, drives into the paint. Now it's Jada Grigsby from outside, drives in, shoots a two, is fouled in the act, and it's no good, but she will go to the free throw line. Now from the angle at which I sit, it's not exactly easy to see which fingers the referee is holding up to tell you who committed the foul, and I have to confess I don't know which 
Willow Ridge Eagle was guilty. But what I do know is that Jada Grigsby made the first free throw and she has one more coming. Second free throw also good by Jada and it's two to nothing. The Hightower girls on top. We're gonna have basketball every day or night this week except Thursday. On Friday night, we've got a District 24-5A boys game and it's Kempner hosting Lamar Consolidated and Willow Ridge. Very lucky there as Hightower missed an opportunity to get an easy score. That was Nia Reed missed a layup. And so here goes Willow Ridge launching a three from the right wing and it's good. And the Eagles are on top as they get the three pointer from Mariana Lockett. But quickly back down the floor, Grigsby three from the left corner for Hightower and Hightower is back on top by a score of five to three. Full court press by the Canes girls and a timeout taken. No, it's a five second call. Willow Ridge took too long to get the ball in bounds. 5.34 to go in quarter number one and it's five to three. The hometown Hightower Hurricanes girls in the lead. Grigsby fakes a three, drives inside, shoots from the left elbow and it's good, seven to three. Sounds like a football score. Although these two teams aren't in the same football district. Lockett gets it quickly ahead and the ball almost saved. A great effort there right in front of our, I would call it our broadcast table, but it's the broadcast chair. Kiersey Hughes, sophomore shooting guard, almost ran it down. It wasn't her fault that the pass had too much mustard on it. Spicy mustard, I should say. Grigsby misses an outside shot for Hightower. And here comes Willeridge back down the floor quickly. It is Seals who launches one from the left corner. It's a two pointer. Seven to five now our score. Hightower leading and with the ball. Aaliyah Franklin between the rings. Two three zone defense or more like a one two two zone defense by Willow Ridge. Three pointer taken, three pointer missed by Madison Bob. But it's Grigsby with a rebound, drives into the paint. Then it's Tiana Coulter Hill, sophomore point forward. She got a rebound and put one up, but the shot was blocked. Went out of bounds and it will belong to Willow Ridge. I say it should, uh, it will belong to Hightower and there's a little alley-oop as it was Aaliyah Franklin to Madison Bob. Wasn't a slam dunk, but she did get rid of the ball before she came back down. And as Willow Ridge brings it up after giving up that score, they also give up a turnover. Franklin with a layup off the left side, no good. Rebound Willow Ridge and here come the Eagles. Seals with a nice between the feet dribble to get free. Gives the ball up to Destiny DiCarlo. Now gives it back, or gets it back rather. Now it's DiCarlo on the left wing. She gets a pick, drives across the top of the key. Can't find her favorite shot. And a ball goes out of bounds. It's going to go to Hightower. Off of the forearm, the right forearm of Mariana Lockett. Hightower leading 9-5 to five and they have the basketball. We are... More than halfway through the first quarter here on VipeFortBend.com. Hightower moving the ball around and a three-pointer on the way. It is good by Madison Bob. Maddie Bob makes it 12 to five and Hightower forces a turnover in the backcourt. The Hurricanes girls get the ball back as Madison Bob will throw it in. Aaliyah Franklin waiting. She's gonna get it because nobody's guarding her. And it appears to be a 1-2-2 zone that the Eagles have really packed in here. Madison Bob on the left wing, back to Franklin on the right wing, sends it in the corner to Danielle King. She drives toward the, the hoop and there's contact and a whistle and a foul on Willow Ridge. I believe it's Natalie Green who is guilty of the foul for Willow Ridge. 3.15 to go. In quarter number one, and it's 12 to five, Hightower. Danielle King at the line, first free throw, nothing but net. 7 p.m. or thereabouts is the tip-off time for the second game of our doubleheader, the boys of Hightower taking on the boys of Willow Ridge inside Hobson Fieldhouse, where we just love to be. 
Really wish both of these games were in the same place. Second free throw was missed and the rebound to Kiersey Hughes of Willow Ridge and here come the Eagles. It is Lockett over on the left wing, drives into the paint, kicks it back out. Destiny DiCarlo passes up a shot and they're driving down the left side of the free throw line. Seals misses the shot, rebound high tower and Aliyah Franklin into the paint, leaves it off to the side, gives it to Alana Nirocker and Nirocker loses the basketball out of bounds. Willow Ridge will get it back, trailing 13 to five. They have a couple of prize freshmen in their lineup, Ariana Seals, Haley Kinchin, and Tara Batiste. Look for her to come off the bench for Willow Ridge. They get it into the forecourt, still trading 13 to five. Seals with a side to side dribble, sends it over to DiCarlo, the junior. Kills her dribble near the baseline and gets it back to Seals to kind of reset the offense. And a three-pointer on the way from the left wing. Too long by DiCarlo. And we've got a, a loose ball foul on Willow Ridge as the two teams were fighting for the rebound. Still 13-5, 2.24 to go in this first quarter. And wait a minute, it was a loose ball foul on Hightower. So all the Willow Ridge girls had gone down to the far end, but what they need to do is get back down here. Seals will throw it in. And we've got a substitution, English Jackson, I'm sorry, correction, Madison Bob goes off the floor and Deja Thomas, 5'7 sophomore guard comes in for Hightower. Seals looking, looking, looking and gets it in. Gets it to lock it. Dribbling side to side inside the three-point arc. Let's go a two-pointer from about 12 feet. No good. Rebind hot tower. Danielle King grabs it, gives it to Aaliyah Franklin. Franklin quickly down the floor, fakes a left wing three. Now it's a right wing three on the way from King, and it's no good, but high tower grabs the rebound. And now Aaliyah Franklin has it back. Franklin showed her character when she was just a sophomore battling back from an Achilles tendon injury and played great basketball. Now there's a loose ball on the floor and Willow Ridge takes possession. Kiersey Hughes walking it up, now hands it off to Seals. Seals guarded by Danielle King into the forecourt, gets a pick. Somebody went down on the floor, no foul called. Lock it with the two-pointer along the baseline. No good in the rebound, grabbed by DiCarlo of Willow Ridge. Gets the ball back in the hands of Seals. Seals, top of the key, looking for a shot, looking for a pick. Still dribbling, moves to the free throw line, sends it to Lockett, drives toward the hoop, puts it up too long, no good. And we've got contact and a foul and great sportsmanship there. You like to see that English Jackson going over the back of her high tower opponent and picked up that high tower opponent, helped her off the floor. 114 to go in quarter number one, and we've been at a score of 13 to 5 for three minutes now, three minutes plus. High tower, entry pass. Now quick move to a corner shot. Deja Thomas puts her three point up and it's no good for High Tower and Willow Ridge the rebound. That was Destiny to Carlo grabbing it. And now it's Lockett with a three pointer. Ratatatson goes down through. Under a minute to go in the quarter and it's 13 to eight. Willow Ridge gets within five. Now here comes High Tower on the attack and a travel. Alana Nirocker. Started to make her move, but she took a step. That back foot dragged. And now we've got a substitution coming in for Hightower. It's Emery Johnson. And Nirocker takes the bench. 40 seconds to go. Willow Ridge taking its time, moving it up the floor. Seals gets it across the midcourt stripe. Picked up right there by Jaya Johnson. Now gives the ball off to, hold on. Gives the ball off to DiCarlo and a whistle. And it looks like it's a foul on English Jackson, setting a moving pick for Willow Ridge. And we've got 28 seconds to go. Hightower leading 13 to eight. We'll try to get the final shot of the period. District 24, 5A game. The Hightower girls letting the clock tick down. Jaya Johnson has it. Sends it to King on the right wing, trying to dribble around her defender. 
Gets the ball back to Jaya Johnson. Now they send it on the left side, and it's Emery Johnson just into the game. Launches a three. No good, but King the rebound and a putback. And that's how the first quarter ends. Hightower gets a basket late. They lead it 15-8. to eight. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free Internet and laptops. And now, we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi-enabled safe spaces to study, so more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at Comcast.com education. We see all you do to get Aren't work done, whether it's keeping your office open. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Here we are back inside the gym at Hightower where it's 15-8 to eight after one quarter. The host Hightower girls leading it. Remember, this is just the first half of a doubleheader on VibeFortBend.com. The boys game at 7 o'clock between these same two schools. Will come your way very close to 7 o'clock. It's at Hobson Fieldhouse, which is two or 300 feet away. Willow Ridge gets the ball first to start quarter number two, and it seals. Dribbling with her left hand, gets it across the timeline, guarded by Jaya Johnson, and a steal by Johnson. She drove inside the three-point arc, moved back, now sends it to the corner, and fake of a three-point shot, and Emery Johnson makes a move toward the hoop, but she is tripped by her defender. And I'm not sure who that was. I think possibly it was Natalie Green, another freshman for Willow Ridge called for the foul and she takes a seat on the bench. Entry pass, Jada Grigsby, three from the left corner and it's good. Hightower takes an 18 to eight lead. 10 point advantage, their biggest advantage of the game. Now a little bit of token pressure in the backcourt and Willow Ridge does get it into the forecourt as the English Jackson has it. Now an entry pass intended for Kiersey Hughes and it goes off of the high tower knee out of bounds. Jasmine Brewer, head coach of the Hurricane Girls, is up off the bench. Now it's Destiny DiCarlo. And we don't have a... F okay, uh, I'm sorry. We had what sounded like a fire alarm. I don't know what that was. Evidently it's not a fire alarm because if it was, we'd all be leaving. We're back to basketball. 7.20 to go in the first half. It is 18 to 18-8 Hightower on top. Dribbling is Mariana Lockett. Kills her dribble, and there's a lot of defense in her face. And a timeout taken by Willow Ridge. We'll take it with them. 18 to 18-8 Hightower, first minute of the second. We'll be back. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireauto.com, and claim your savings. First Iron Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireauto.com. All right, fans, coming up on Saturday, we've got a really good one. District 26A boys basketball, the Ridgepoint Panthers taking on the Elkins Knights, both teams undefeated in district play. So first place in the district will be on the line, but don't forget the Travis Tigers own a share of first place at this point. They haven't lost any district games. In our Saturday broadcast, we had them beating the Bush Broncos on the road. Quickly down the floor, a steal by Hightower, and they get a basket from Madison Bob, the 5'10 sophomore, all the way through to the hoop. 20 to 8, the lead is 12. Under seven minutes to go before halftime. Seals with the basketball. Sends it to Mariana Lockett, and she tries to make a wraparound pass that gets stolen by Hightower. 
Madison Bob pushing it down the floor. Now sends it to Grigsby, right wing three on the way. Off the glass and good. The lead is 15, 23 to eight. The Eagles have to pick up those shooters and the Hightower girls have a lot of them. Entry pass, DiCarlo sends it inside and a basket that's good by English Jackson. She's probably the Eagle with the most height and she used it right there. That closes the gap, it's 23 to 10, Hightower on top of Willow Ridge. Now into the game, it is Nia Reed. Entry pass and she gets the ball poked away from her. There goes Lockett, puts it up too strong, no good. Rebound Hightower and the Hurricanes girls going back down the other way. I think that Jaya Johnson got away with a carry. Throws a pass to a teammate, gets the ball back. Grigsby all the way around to the left side. Madison Bob three on the way, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Lockett of Willow Ridge. She brings it across the midcourt stripe and hands off to Seals. Seals dribbles between the feet, starts to her left, past the left elbow. Leaves it for DiCarlo, launches a three, too strong, but the rebound to Willow Ridge. Kiersey Hughes hustles over to get it, but she loses the ball. Here comes Grigsby for Hightower, all the way to the hoop, but a last second pass intended for Nia Reed, and it's out of bounds. A turnover by the Hurricanes. They still lead it 23 to 10, 5.15 to go. Travis Tigers at home tomorrow night. And I'm trying to remember who they play. But we're gonna have it for you, that much I do know. Maybe it's Dulles. But I don't, I'm, I'm a one man gang. I don't have a chance to open my email and see what's going on. Seals puts a shot up for Willow Ridge. It comes up long, it's no good. Tiana Coulter Hill dribbling almost coast to coast, but she ended up losing it and Seals comes away with it at the other end for Willow Ridge. Here come the Eagles. Between the rings as Seals moves to her left, looking for a pick. Trying to get free, thinking about a three. Now moves inside the arc, puts it up off the glass and good from the left restraining line. That was a thing of beauty. And it's 23 to 12, I believe. The scoreboard says 23 to 11, but I'm pretty sure it was 23 to 10. Now they fix it, it's 23 to 12. Hightower with a missed shot. Rebound, pulled down by English Jackson of Willow Ridge. Hands the ball to Seals, she's on the left wing. Scanning her offensive options, moves to the left. Guarded by a much taller player, gives it up. Now gets it back. Seals guarded by Coulter Hill, who's six feet tall. And the ball goes out of bounds, who touched it last. Seals let it go, so I'm gonna presume it was last touched by Hightower. No, I should not have presumed that because it's now Hurricane's ball. Four minutes exactly to go in the second quarter. And the Lady Canes lead at 23 to 12. Over on the left wing, Madison Bob thought about it. Didn't pull the trigger though. Around the perimeter they go. Aaliyah Franklin, little jump step. Kicks it back out for Danielle King, but she didn't know it was coming. And it goes out of bounds near the Willow Ridge bench. It's a turnover, 3.46 to go. And the Eagles trailing by 11. Have it back on offense. Nobody guarding Seals in the backcourt. She walks it up. Meets a double team and a steal by Hightower. Taken away by Deja Thomas. Gets it to Franklin. Quickly ahead to King. Almost threw it too hard, but still a Hurricanes possession. Coulter Hill has it. Now Aria Franklin between the rings. Did I say Aria? I meant Aaliyah. And toward the left bell elbow. Madison Bob had the ball stripped away from her. There goes Lockett. Pulls up at the free throw line and it's good. 23 to 14 on a timeout taken by Hightower. The lead is down to nine. We'll be back, 312 to go in the half on VibeFortBend.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. 
We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free internet and laptops. And now, we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi-enabled safe spaces to study, so more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at comcast.com slash education. Coming out of the timeout, a long three, no good by Aaliyah Franklin. And here comes Willeridge. They get it into the forecourt. First time into the game for Haley Kinchin, the freshman, Gets it off to DiCarlo who drives the baseline and her shot comes up short. Now it's Aaliyah Franklin quickly ahead. Bob couldn't find her shot, now backs it out of there beyond the three-point arc. Throws it to the top of the key. Franklin three on the way. No good, wide right. And the rebound taken by Mariana Lockett of Willow Ridge. Under two and a half minutes to go before we finish this first half. It is 23 to 14 Hightower and there goes Seals. Slashing to the hoop, drew a foul. The scoreboard is not indicating the number of fouls, so we don't know who's over the limit. There are the little lights that go on when it says bonus. Seals to throw it in and trying to impede the progress of the inbounds pass is Jaya Johnson of Hightower. They get it in, lock it just inside the three-point arc, throws the ball away. She was trying to get it to English Jackson and English kind of moved away from the hoop and the pass was directly under the hoop. I think that was a savvy move on the part of Zaya Johnson or Jaya Johnson. Even though she's just a sophomore, she kind of, you know, as the two were leaning against each, each other, she kind of backed up and, and that caused her opponent, English Jackson, to move away uh, from the spot where uh, Hightower expected her to be. And now the officials talk something over. I'm not sure exactly what happened. What happened? Okay, so there was a foul called against Hightower instead of just a turnover with a ball going out of bounds. So Willow Ridge gets it back underneath the basket at which they're shooting, still trailing by nine. Here goes DiCarlo, loses it. Seals recovers in the corner and sends it back to Kinchin. Kinchin looking for Seals. The ball bounced off Kinchin's head after Franklin tipped it. Now Seals has it back, drives toward the top of the key, and her pass is picked off. Near Rocker, who turns it over. And now a shot by Willow Ridge that misses, and the rebound comes down to Nia Reed of Hightower. And the Hurricanes girls on the attack again, and Seal Seals gets a steal. Try to set that 10 times fast. Scoop by Seals, no good, rolls off. Still 23 to 14. Just over a minute and a half to go in quarter number two on VikeFortBend.com. Good Tuesday night to you wherever you are. We've got a doubleheader. The boys between the boys game between Willow Ridge and Hightower coming your way at about 7 o'clock. Missed shot by Hightower. And it's English Jackson with the ball with 119 to go for Willow Ridge trailing by nine. They're playing some good defense. They just need to convert on some of their offensive trips. And get this lead down, and the ball poked away by Aaliyah Franklin. So it'll be Willow Ridge ball on the side opposite their benches. And there is a near steal in the backcourt by Hightower, but it's tipped and Seals runs it down. And as she moves across the midcourt stripe, one minute to go, kills her dribble, gets it to lock it. Lockett trying to move in on Grigsby, side to side dribble, can't get around her. The ball near the right elbow and a double dribble or a travel, a violation. Was that double dribble? No, it was a lane violation. Thank you, lane violation, appreciate it. So it wasn't Lockett who committed the violation, it was one of her teammates. Still 23 to 14, 50 seconds to go and Aaliyah Franklin. Sends it over on the left side. Bob passes up the three-pointer all the way across the court to Grigsby. Three in and out, no good. Rebound, fought for and taken by Lockett of Willow Ridge. Here come the Eagles with 35 seconds to go. Grigsby picks up Lockett. The ball handed to Seals. Seals gets a pick, launches a three from the left wing. Ball was tipped, no good. Grigsby comes up with it. And quickly ahead to the girl who blocked the shot. That was Nia Reed. And she's hammered as she goes to the hoop. 
She will get two shots with 22 seconds to go. We got stuck at 13 to five for the longest time and now we're stuck at 23 to 14 for the longest time. And Nia, Raid, uh, Nia Reed ready to shoot. Stands 5'8", she's a junior. First free throw in and out, no good. A lot of youth on this high tower team. Deja Thomas, Jaya Johnson, Nirocker, and Coulter Hill are all sophomores. Emery Johnson and Nia Reed are juniors, and Madison Bob is a sophomore. The three seniors are Franklin, King, and Grigsby. Second free throw is good. 24 to 14 with 22 seconds to go. Now full court pressure by Hightower. Seals has it. Cross court pass to Lockett. Gets it quickly ahead to Kinchin. Now all the way ahead to Jackson. And she misses a layup, no good. 10 seconds left and Hightower has it. Into the four court, six seconds to go. Grigsby gives the ball to Madison Bob. In and out with a three pointer, no good. And that's how the first half ends. 24 to 14, Hightower on top. This is VipeFortBend.com. Our coverage is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. Also by First Tire and Automotive. For the very best prices on tires, go to FirstTireAndAuto.com. And they also have four great locations in Fort Bend County, Katie Cinco Ranch on Eldridge Road in Sugarland, Greatwood right near the entrance to the subdivision right there by the Grand Parkway and also First Colony not too far from Wheeler Fieldhouse and Mercer Stadium which can't wait till those two facilities are back in use. Our coverage on VipeFortBend.com is also brought to you by Archer Volkswagen open since 1956 and ready to serve you Monday through Saturday. They're on the southbound side of the Southwest Freeway on the edge of Houston, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. They are ready to serve you Monday through Saturday and you will feel like family at Archer Volkswagen. We're also brought to you by the Needville Insurance Agency. Bradley Stavanaugh and his team can help you out. If you want to save money on your car and home insurance, he will fix you up. His number, 979-793- 7411. You can go to needvilleinsurance.com. You can call him. He'll come see you however you want to take care of it, but it's very convenient. You don't have to leave your house to start saving money right away on your car and home insurance. That's the Needville Insurance Agency. We'll step aside and be back. This is VipeFortBend.com. Our halftime score, the Hightower girls lead Willow Ridge 24 to 14. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Tire and Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. 
Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Become a Vibe Insider today. Access breaking news in high school sports. Enjoy premium articles and exclusive coverage written by expert analysts and watch exclusive videos, documentaries on programs in your area. It's only $2.99 a month if you subscribe for the monthly plan. If you go for the yearly plan, it rounds out to just $1.99 a month. It costs you only $24 a year to get all of your Vibe news throughout the entire year subscribe today what are you waiting for it's less than a cup of coffee a month become a vibe insider 2.99 a month 23.99 for the whole year hey it's vibe we will see you at the games it's halftime here at hightower and the hurricane girls lead willow ridge by a score of 24 to 14 here on vipefortbend.com this is just the first of a double header as at about 7 o'clock, we'll bring you the boys game between Hightower and Willow Ridge. So be here and join us for that one. Just remember, it's always free to listen live or listen later on the podcast at VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County sports. We'll be back after this from the University Interscholastic League. All of us love sports. But not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. You are the master of the multitask, the champion of making it happen. Taking care of business is not for the faint of heart. Still, you take care of it. Taking care of business. But who takes care of you? Office Depot Office Max. We supply you, copy you, and tune you up. Members get 2% back in rewards on everything, and we mean everything. We take care of you, so you can take care of business. Office Depot Office Max. Taking care of business. We want to thank Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland. They take care of business every day, so bring we can bring you Fort Bend County Sports every week, and we've been doing it ever since the volleyball season kicked off. You know, uh, just in case you're scoring at home, or if for that matter you're alone, I believe uh, this is our 65th broadcast that school started, so... Uh, We've been killing it for you, covering all of Fort Bend, all 11 high schools, plus a little bit of Foster and a little bit of Fulcher. We like doing that stuff too. 24 to 14, the Hightower girls leading it. They outscored Willow Ridge 15 to eight in quarter number one, and Willow Ridge played better in the second. They were only outscored nine to six, so they are within hailing distance. It's 24 to 14, and we'll see if both teams send out the same starting lineups that they had at the beginning of the game. 
for Hightower. It's Aaliyah Franklin, Jada Grigsby, Jaya Johnson, Madison Bob, and Nia Reed. So, yes, the same starters. And for Willow Ridge, Mariana Lockett, Ariana Seals, Haley Kinchin, and Natalie Green, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Natalie Green, Haley Kinchin, and Ariana Seals, all freshmen. Tara Batiste, who's on the bench at this moment, is also a freshman. So four out of the eight on the varsity roster are ninth graders. Now, it is Hightower getting the ball first to start the third quarter, and they're shooting at the basket that is closer to our broadcast chair. Jada Grigsby in the left corner, can't find her shot, gets it to Aaliyah Franklin. She's between the rings and dribbling. It's that 1-2-2 two, two zone, and Hightower trying to find room around it. Grigsby almost lost it. She's in front of the Hightower bench. She did recover it, gets it to Franklin. Now it's Bob. Thinks about a three, little entry pass inside, and a shot up, no good, but a foul called. Jaya Johnson trying to score from in close. And I believe it's Haley Kinchin guilty of the foul. Not sure. I was obstructed when the official was holding up the fingers. But Jaya Johnson hits the first one. It's 25 to 14, Hightower. Second free throw, no good. So it remains an 11 point lead, or 11, yeah, 11 point lead. And English Jackson grabs the rebound, but a double team mugging in the backcourt almost led to a steal, but Willow Ridge was able to keep it, lock it. Now Seals is trapped in the corner. She might want to call timeout. Oh, what a pass. Amazing. She got it to Kiersey Hughes, who put it up no good. And Kiersey Hughes was one of the third quarter starters, and I misidentified her. Now Franklin, after a rebound by Hightower, goes down the floor, launches a three. They didn't guard her, and she called their bluff and scored to make it 28-14. to 14. That 14-point advantage is the biggest one. And a steal of the inbounds pass, and in goes Franklin. Mayday, mayday. Willow Ridge is going down to start this, this third quarter. Six quick points by Hightower. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. It's 30-14. to 14. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free internet and laptops. And now we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi enabled safe spaces to study. So more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at comcast.com slash education. Back inside the gym at Hightower where the Lady Hurricanes are threatening to run off and leave Willow Ridge that Played pretty close in the first half. And by the way, it's just something you kind of have to expect. It's, it's really nobody's fault. But when you have four freshmen on an eight-player varsity, then you're just going to have some of those mistakes. And I think Willow Ridge is going to be great in seasons to come. But Hightower, of course, is younger. They just don't have as many ninth graders. They have quite a few sophomores. So inbounding along the baseline for Hightower was Jaya Johnson. Now they work it around the perimeter. Franklin with a little no-look pass inside and an easy basket. Nia Reed getting a dime from Jaya Johnson and it's 32 to 14. Willow Ridge gets it in again. The pass stolen. Jada Grigsby has it. Sends it to Franklin. Left wing back to Grigsby. Top of the key. Three. Nothing but net. And it's 35 to 14. Looks like a football score. Willow Ridge inbounds. The Canes apply the pressure. Seals kills her dribble. Ooh, that might have been a mistake. She's trapped. She could call a timeout, but the ball is taken away. And one shot missed. That was by Nia Reed, but then Aaliyah Franklin grabbed it and scored. Cross court pass intended for Lockett. Willow Ridge still in possession, but still a long way from the midcourt line. Now they get it over. Lockett. Almost got it stolen from behind the ball off of a high tower instep off the top of a shoe. 
I think that was Madison Bob and it rolled out of bounds. So Willow Ridge will have it trailing 37 to 14. Into the game for Hightower is Deja Thomas. And she replaces Nia Reed. Lockett, quick release three, no good for Willow Ridge. And the rebound comes down to Grigsby for the Hurricanes. Slows down, speeds up, gets the ball to Bob. Back and in, back and in, top of the Cree. Grigsby three, good. Not the top of the Cree, but the top of the key. I think you knew what I meant to say. 40 to 14, Willow Ridge has not scored in this second half. And they are one and done, and then a shot blocked. English Jackson went up, she was blocked by Bob. And Willow Ridge gets a second chance point and seals no good with a jumper. Now Aaliyah Franklin. 16 to nothing, Hightower has outscored Willow Ridge here in the third quarter. They miss a shot, but they get the rebound. And it's Danielle King with an over the head pass. Around the horn they go over to Grigsby, now to Aaliyah Franklin. Gets it inside and a foul committed as Deja Thompson, Thomas, I'm sorry. Deja Thomas made a move to the hoop, guarded by English Jackson. 4.44 to go in quarter number three. Hightower has come out to score the first 16 points of quarter number three. First free throw. No good by Deja. Hurricanes have a lot more depth than Willow Ridge and they bring in several substitutes. Emery Johnson comes in, also Tiana Coulter-Hill. Another free throw coming for Thomas and it's off the back iron. No good, rebound grabbed by Natalie Green. Freshman post player for Willow Ridge. Near steal by Hightower, but the ball off the fingertips of Daniel King and into the stands. Eagles keep it. Seals dribbling. No full court pressure on this possession. Four and a half minutes to go in quarter number three. Haley Kinchin has it, returns it to Seals. Back to Kinchin on the right wing. They're just playing catch. Now Seals looking for an option. There is Lockett thinking about a three. Gives the ball up, and DeCarlo launches a three, missed everything. It was certainly strong enough. It was about two feet too long. So no question she can get it there. Quickly down the floor, in the corner, Danielle King fakes a three, goes to the hoop, and scores to make it 42 to 14. The spread is now 28. Eighteen to nothing. Hightower has won the third quarter so far, and I think they're going to win the quarter when it's over. We're more than halfway through this third period. Now Seals thought about a three, gives the ball up. Around the horn they go. It's Destiny DiCarlo has her shot blocked, but she recovers the basketball. Now it's Kinchin. Kinchin gets it to Seals, back to Kinchin, back to Seals. Now all the way in the right corner and off the hands of Willow Ridge, but they keep it and then a turnover as Tiana Coulter-Hill steals a bounce pass and now traveling on her teammate, Alana Narocker. She thought about passing and then tried to hold on to the ball and her, her feet moved a little bit too much. No worries for Hightower, however, they are in control here. They lead it 42 to 14. Now Seals between the rings. Moving over to the right, gets the ball to DiCarlo and she loses the basketball. Here comes Danielle King beating everyone down the floor and just catching up at the end was DiCarlo and she fouled her. It'll be a two shot foul. Roger Smith with you here on VipeFortBend.com. We'll have the Travis Tigers playing on their home court. That's tomorrow night starting at 6.45 with the pregame, the countdown to tip-off show. Because our presentation today is a doubleheader, girls from Hightower and Willow Ridge at 5, and then the boys from Hightower and Willow Ridge at 7, no pregame on either of those broadcasts. 
Second free throw is missed, but a rebound taken and a quick putback by Tiana Coulter-Hill. The tallest player on this high tower roster. It makes it 44 to 14. 20 to nothing. High tower has outscored Willow Ridge in the third quarter. In the corner, Seals launches a three. It's short. Rebound fought for. Goes out of bounds. Last touched by Willow Ridge. Natalie Green had it. Couldn't squeeze it. High tower across the timeline, sending it deep. Emery Johnson gets it inside to Coulter Hill. Now it's a three-pointer on the way off the back iron. No good. Too strong by Danielle King, but she runs down the rebound very close to the midcourt circle. That ball went a long way. Now in the corner. Long three, too long. And the rebound, Deja Thomas off of a shot from Emery Johnson. And Thomas draws a foul as she tries to get a putback of her own miss. And now she will go to the free throw line with 2.25 to go in the third. Timeout taken by Willow Ridge. They just need a rest more than strategy. We'll be right back on VibeFordBend.com. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free Internet and laptops. And now, we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi-enabled safe spaces to study, so more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at Comcast.com education. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Just about to wrap up this third quarter, which has been all high tower, literally all high tower, as they've outscored Willow Ridge 22 to nothing. Three pointer on the way by Willow Ridge. They got that try from Lockett. It's no good. Two minutes to go in this period. And over on the left side, high tower has Emery Johnson. She mishandled the basketball and it goes out of bounds beyond the baseline. 46 to 14 is our score. Hightower inbounding and underneath the basket at which they're shooting. Knee Rocker gets it in to Danielle King. Her shot too hard off the glass, but the rebound Hightower. And over on the left side, it's Knee Rocker who puts up a two and it's good to make it 48 to 14. Seals walks it up for Willow Ridge. Lockett drives in, kills her dribble. Now back out to Seals from three-point range. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Now back to Lockett near the top of the key, trying to back in on King. Can't get free. And now some contact as Destiny DiCarlo is slashing toward the hoop. And she was fouled by her counterpart, the other number three, Danielle King. But unfortunately for Willow Ridge, 
Hightower is not over the limit as far as fouls committed. And so it's just going to be an inbounding of the ball by Lockett. On the sideline where all the fans are. Inside to Haley Kinchin. Turn around. No good. Rebound. Hightower on the run. And that's a turnover as Alana Narocker kind of carried the basketball. Good call by the officials right there. One oh three left in quarter number three. Seals has it between the feet. Dribble sends it to Lockett. Right wing. Now back to Seals. Top of the key. Back to Lockett. Entry pass. Stolen away by Hightower. Tiana Coulter-Hill has long arms and she uses them to steal it away and quickly in. It is a shot by Deja Thomas streaking toward the hoop, but it was too hard. No good. Lockett the rebound for Willow Ridge. 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Willow Ridge has not scored in the period until now. There you go, lock it off the glass. That makes it 48 to 16. And a foul inside. Narocker trying to go to the hoop and Mariana Lockett grabbed her on the arm. But again, nobody over the limit and they'll just inbound along the sideline. Danielle King gets it in, gets it back. Bounce to Coulter Hill, runs out of room near the baseline, look out. And she stepped out. Good call by the official. He was right on top of that one. I saw it too. So no argument from either side. 14 seconds to go. Here comes Willeridge trying to score again before the quarter ends. Here goes Lockett. Drives into the paint. Stops at the free throw line. Kicks it back out. Pivot move. Kiersey Hughes trying to get something. Can't find it. Now a two on the way from the baseline. And it's short. And the third quarter ends. Hightower 48, Willow Ridge 16. We'll be back. This is VibeFortBend.com. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free Internet and laptops. And now we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi enabled safe spaces to study. So more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at comcast.com education. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. It's always great to have the voice of Mark Vandermeer, the Texans radio voice on uh, our broadcasts. And we know that he's proud of his involvement with getagreatgig.com, but also junior achievement. You're probably aware of some of the great things that they do to help the youth get ready for being an adult and having a job and being productive. 48 to 18 as Willow Ridge got a quick hoop to begin the fourth quarter, but a three-pointer on the way by Aaliyah Franklin of Hightower, and that makes it 51 to 18. In that third quarter, Hightower outscored Willow Ridge by a score of 24 to two. So it is Seals with the basketball. She gives the ball off to DiCarlo, who drives the baseline and throws a pass that is tipped out of bounds by Jada Grigsby of Hightower. Flew across the sideline, and Mariana Lockett will throw in for these Willow Ridge Eagles. Slaps the basketball, looks and gets it into Seals. Jaya Johnson on her. 
trying not to commit a foul, but wants to play that good, solid defense. Over on the right side to Carlo. No relation to the actress who played Lily Munster on the Munsters. That was Yvonne DiCarlo. There goes Lockett through the free throw circle around the horn, right side of the lane, no good. Rebound, put back. Natalie Green scores for Hightower, or uh, Willow Ridge rather, sorry, 51 to 20. Eagles just trying to make the final score a little more respectable. They trail 51 to 20. And three-pointer, no good, but the rebound, Coulter Hill puts it up, no good. Rebound fought for and taken by Kiersey Hughes of Willow Ridge. She was knocked down in a foul called on Nia Reed of Hightower. Willow Ridge into the forecourt. Lockett hands to Seals. Drives toward the baseline, gives it off. Ball almost taken away, but the possession is saved. Lockett dribbles the ball and a cross-court pass to Natalie Green. She almost lost it. Now Seals has it back in her hands. Actually, I guess that's not the, an accurate phrase if she's dribbling. She was dribbling. Lockett's three-pointer is short. Rebound to Leah Franklin. Here comes Hightower. Long bounce pass ahead to Grigsby. Her shot is blocked by Lockett. And it goes out of bounds. But great hustle. You really admire that in someone like Mariana Lockett, her team down by 31, but she is hustling all the way down the floor. And I said it was a block, but it's actually a foul call. It sounded pretty clean, but it'll be Grigsby shooting from the charity stripe. First one good, 52 to 20. 5.42 left in this one. And as soon as it's over, I will schlep all my stuff, all my toys over to Hobson Fieldhouse, 200 feet away, maybe 300, it's hard to say, uh, but that's where the boys game will be. Second free throw also good and it's 53 to 20. Hightower leading Willow Ridge. DiCarlo driving in, can't find her shot, gives the ball back to Seals. Dribbling between the rings, facing Jaya Johnson who's guarding her. DiCarlo dribbles with the left hand, gives it back to Seals. Around the horn she goes. Trying to get around the bigger Hightower team. And a three-pointer on the way by DiCarlo. No good. One and done as Grigsby grabs the rebound quickly ahead. Finds Nia Reed, but she has to reroute herself. Puts it up in and out. No good. Tough luck shot. Tries to do a putback of her own miss, but she has that blocked. And that was blocked by Natalie Green, the freshman post player for Willow Ridge. Natalie's only going to grow taller. She's going to be a force. Good things ahead for this Willow Ridge team. However, this is not their day today. 53 to 20, they trail it. Less than five minutes to go, and we'll take a break on VibeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website firsttireauto.com and claim your savings. First Iron Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireauto.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. We are back to live action and Hightower is still in control here, leading 53 to 20. Jada Grigsby slashing towards the hoop and the 5'8 senior missed, but she was fouled and she will go to the line. 
First one, good. I don't know the numbers, I'll confess, but I'll bet she is their top percentage free throw shooter. Second one also good, nothing but net. 55 to 20. Lockett brings the ball up for Willow Ridge. Into the forecourt, kills her dribble, holding the ball over her head. Seals comes around and helps her out, gets the basketball. Going side to side, gives the ball off. Natalie Green can't find a shot, gives the ball back to Seals, back and in. Now it's Lockett, right corner, thinking about the three. Drives the baseline and a bounce pass. Oh, a shot blocked, Destiny DiCarlo. It was blocked by Madison. Bob goes all the way to the hoop and scores to make it 57 to 20. A facial delivered. And girls like to have facials, more so than guys for the most part. But, uh, you know, not in a game, not in a basketball game. And we got a whistle, timeout, Willow Ridge. We'll take it with them, vipefortbend.com. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free Internet and laptops. And now, we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi-enabled safe spaces to study, so more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at Comcast.com education. We are back, Hightower still in command, it's 57 to 20, and we're gonna have free throws coming up for Tiana Coulter Hill. According to the roster that uh, comes from head coach Jasmine Brewer of Willow Ridge, Tiana is the only six footer on the Hightower varsity and she airballs the first free throw. A sheepish smile on the face of Tiana Coulter Hill. Second free throw coming and she swishes that one. 58 to 20. Destiny DiCarlo into the forecourt for Willow Ridge. Closing in on the three minute mark, almost threw it away. It is a high tower steal, here they come. Alana Narocker leaves it off for Coulter Hill. High off the glass, no good. Rebound fought for and taken by Kiersey Hughes of Willow Ridge. She gets out of the traffic and gets the ball to Lockett, who walks it across the timeline, launches a three. Off the glass and good. The bank is open after five o'clock, obviously, here in Mo City. And that makes it 58 to 23, and Willow Ridge with a steal. Lockett with a spin move into the forecourt, driving toward the, the basket. Has to give up the ball. Destiny DiCarlo near the sideline. Saves it, but it's a high tower steal. Taken away by Danielle King. She's still got it. And she's hit hard. Hits the floor hard. Elbow to the shoulder area, and then she went down, but she gets up like she was a Super Bowl. Maybe not that fast, but showing that she's a tough girl. And she goes to the line to try to expand the 58 to 23 lead. And wide right, no good. Danielle King will get one more. Under two and a half minutes left. King, three bounces and the ball in the air. Good. 59 to 23, Hightower leads it. And a throw away on the inbounds pass, but somehow Willow Ridge saves it. It was almost a held ball, but great hustle, not giving up on it was Kiersey Hughes to save the possession. But then Coulter Hill with another steal for Willow Ridge, and the ball rolls over to Nirocker, and she'll walk it up. Dribbling with the right hand, now sends it over to the right side, Emery Johnson. Emery Johnson lost it. And a foul in the backcourt as Deja Thomas tries to steal it away for Hightower. Not over the limit. Well, now, now Hightower is over the limit with right now there's exactly two minutes left in the game. But it's not going to do Willow Ridge much good to have one and ones. 
if and when they are fouled. There goes Seals, gives the ball to Lockett. Three pointer from the left corner, no good. Rebound, Natalie Green can't get the put back to go. And the rebound to the Hightower Hurricanes. And here comes Nirocker, dribbling it up the middle of the floor. Slightly over to her right, gets the ball to King and a whistle with 131 left. And two shots coming for Deja Thomas. 5'7 sophomore, big deep breath at the free throw line. And fouling out of the game for Willow Ridge is English Jackson. And she goes by and gives a very sportsmanlike fist bump to Hightower coach. Jasmine Brewer is the first free throw is no good by Thomas. She'll get another one. This is the first of two on VibeFortBend.com. We're inside the gym at Hightower and we'll be over at Hobson Fieldhouse for the boys game. How about that? Danielle King grabs the rebound of the second free throw which was missed. Gets the ball to Nirocker who's dribbling between the rings, not really in a hurry to make a move. Sends it over to King, right wing. And inside, off the glass, no good. Deja Thomas shot too hard. Willow Ridge grabs the rebound. Kiersey Hughes has it, hands the ball to Seals. Seals into the forecourt near the top of the key. Guarded by King, Seals moves to her right, and the ball poked out of bounds. Near Rocker still playing hard for Hightower, even though the game is well in hand. 59 to 23 is our score. Willow Ridge to inbound on the far sideline right in front of its own bench. Entry pass to Natalie Green. Quick turnaround off the glass. No good. Rebound to Coulter Hill for Hightower. Final minute of the game. Knee Rocker brings it across the midcourt stripe. They might just dribble it out, but 40 seconds is a long time. Now they drive it inside. Off the glass, no good. Deja Thomas bank shot, no good. Seals grabs the rebound for Willow Ridge. Moves in on King, gets it across the midcourt stripe. Moves to her left, 25 seconds left. Seals trying to find a shot. Scoop shot off the glass, good from the left side. 20 seconds to go. 59 to 25, and I think Hightower might dribble it out now. 13 seconds to go. It's Nirocker across the midcourt stripe. Picked up there by Lockett. Gives the ball to King. She's gonna shoot or was gonna try to. She was tripped. Ball went out of bounds. She thought she was tripped, but uh, evidently they're just gonna say it was a turnover. Only three seconds to go, so no big whoop. Lockett stepped over the line. Actually, she traveled, but they're gonna let it go. And that's the best thing. Two seconds to go. Lockett fires one from midcourt, and it's no good. This game is over. Congratulations to the Hightower Hurricane girls. They dominated today, winning by a score of 59-25. to VibeFortBend.com coverage of Fort Bend County and Fort Bend ISD girls basketball has been brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. Also by First Tyrant Automotive with four great Fort Bend County locations. For the best prices on tires, go to firsttyrantauto.com. You can also find great deals on great service that will keep your car running at its very best. We're brought to you by Archer Volkswagen, open since 1956, ready to serve you on the Southwest Freeway just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. You will feel like family at Archer Volkswagen and also by the Needville Insurance Agency. Call Bradley Stavenall, my good buddy. It's 979-793-7411 or go to needvilleinsurance.com. We're going to step aside for a few minutes and pretty soon we'll be bringing you the boys game between Hightower and Willow Ridge. Roger Smith saying a temporary goodbye from the Hightower gym. Again, our final score, Hightower 59 and Willow Ridge 25. Goodbye for now. This is VipeFortBend.com.